Welcome back. In the last lesson, we looked at bringing down our first element from the library onto the canvas. And now we are going to add more elements. We'll go back up to add an image. Let's go into our library, our base library here. Let's click on the open file cabinet. Now, by default, it will bring this image directly on top of your first image. So that doesn't look nice. We're going to drag this over here. And before I do anything else, let's just see what happens, right? I've dragged it over here. This was something that confused me when I started on VideoScribe a few years ago. So I'm going to go through the wrong way to do it first and then the right way. So let's say this is how we want these two images to show up on the canvas. What I did, as you just saw, was I dragged this file cabinet over here and I let go, right? That's all I did. I didn't do anything else. So let's click back on the first image and preview it. See what it did here? It moved this first image over. It made this image bigger. You can see it zoomed in to 170%, then stopped off at the file cabinet. I don't want it to do that. I wanted it to look like this. So if you want to go back to the first placement of the first image, let's double click on that file cabinet and it will show you where that image sits and the zoomed in amount and the size and everything like that. So we'll go back over here. Now, if I want this image to stay this size, to stay where it is, I'm going to click right here. I'm going to set camera to current canvas position. See, I've clicked that. You can see that it is in effect because it's highlighted in blue. So now let's push play. It still did the same thing. Why did it do that? Well, the first image and first animation was locked because that's checked. But the second one was not locked. So simply by clicking this, you can see it's checked now. It is locked. So now let's just make this draw time a little bit shorter because we don't need to see it draw out for four seconds here. So let's start again with the preview. It's drawing out these two people. See how it didn't move the canvas over. It locked the image exactly where I wanted it. There was no camera moves because I set the camera movement as is when I pushed this button. Now if I want it off, I just click that little camera with the X on it and again it would do what it did before. In the next lesson we're going to add a third element and we're going to look at how you can actually replace that element if you're not happy with it.